This does not retextured snowfall, and these in the background aren't even sand blocks. And renewable sand will be coming to the future of Minecraft as well as sand tubers being removed. I'll explain all this, so strap on your big brains and let's get into it. So we actually learned more about this image where they're showing some snow layers in the background. The developer clarified that their previous post accidentally had some other testing going on in the background. They said they were testing light effect on retextured snow layers with high random tick speed and nothing more than that. He went on to say that often at Mojang they test their random ideas and apparently he was testing how snow layers would look in a desert. He also said definitely don't get attached to these trying to indicate that this won't be in the game. But there's quite a few things that actually don't make sense with this statement. First off, I noticed that the retextured snow layers weren't like real snow layers at all. If you take a look at all of these, you can see that each of these different supposed snow layers are all about the same height. You can definitely see that in these flat areas where you can easily move across without any shadows. So let's actually try to do what he did. So we got a desert here and we're going to change this desert so it's no longer a desert biome. And we're going to make it into a cold biome so we can actually make it snow, snow layers here. The way we're going to do that is we're going to change actual biome in this area by using the command fill biome, relatively new one. And we're going to change it to a cold biome. So snow plane should work. So now that this is actually a cold biome, we should be able to make it rain and it will snow here. Uh, also, one of my viewers, Ocelot, changed the texture pack for snow layers so that it looks like sand, which is really cool. And let's go ahead and actually make it rain. So weather rain. What we'll see is it's actually snowing here in this now cold biome. And instead of placing down snow layers, we're placing down sand layers, which looks really cool. This is apparently what he was doing. So it snowed a bit and now we can see we got all these little layers all over the place. But you might have noticed a problem with what we got compared to the image. And this is something I noticed right away. <laughs> that is that these layers here are quite thick. Look how thick these are. You can tell that by the shadows that they have on the side of them. We compare that to our snow layers. Doesn't matter like how close you are to these. They're just not that thick. That's except in a couple areas. So you can see right here we have a kind of thicker snow layer. And that's because I actually turned on another game rule which is called snow accumulation height. You can decide how thick you want your snow layers that come from the sky to be able to accumulate on top of each other. So by default, the game has it set to one. So when it snows, you only get a thin skiff of one layer. But like in Bedrock Edition, they actually have this value as higher. So they also allow Java players to change this with this game rule. So if you change it to eight, that means over time, snow will be able to snow in layers and actually stack up to a entire block. But it's a bit random because the game can either decide to place in a single layer in a new area like right here, or it could decide to place another layer on top of a pre-existing one. And that's why we are seeing mostly single layers around here. Once in a while, the game would come in and place in a second layer just by random chance. But this is very different than the image here where every single one of these snow layers is exactly the same height. You can see they're all exactly two layers thick. So we can for sure say that this wasn't using just normal snow layers being accumulated during a rainstorm. Otherwise, we just see these really thin and scattered patterns with once in a while some thicker ones. So that means something else is actually going on here. Could be a couple different things going on. What could have happened is they could have just let it snowed in like normal and then came in afterwards and just went around and every time there was a single layer just thickened it up to make a double layer. This would have been quite tedious, especially over such a large area like we're seeing right here. Although a command could have been used to automatically convert all the single layers to double layers. The other option is that maybe he just changed the code so when it snowed instead of placing a single layer it would always just place two layers. But not all the layers are actually two snow layers thick. If we kind of come over here a little bit we can see that all of this and this are all the snow layers and that includes this one here. But just behind it we have this. 
So what exactly is going on here? It's clearly higher than this snow layer as well as all the rest of them. If you look just to the right of it, this big piece is a full size block. These are all full size pieces of sand. That means this thing in the background would be a full size piece of sand, but it has these two pieces in front of it. So we know this one is the too thick snow layer that's been retextured. That means this here has to be something that's taller. So we can actually figure out exactly how tall each of these things are. So if I highlight this little shadow piece, which is on the edge of the block, this program will tell me how tall it is. Let's point 1, 1 inches. And if we measure this full block in the background, we see that it is 0.45. So that means the slabs that we're seeing are 1 fourth the size of a full block. And this is exactly what we'd expect because if we have a single snow layer, these layers are exactly two pixels tall. And there's a total of 16 pixels in a block to make a full block. So one layer is one eighth the size of a full block. So that means two layers is one fourth the size of a full block. And if we double this up again, we got ourselves four snow layers and that equals the same as half of a full block. So if that's true, we expect these normal layers here to be one size. Then we expect this sand in the background, which is two of these normal size ones, would have exactly the same amount of exposed side as this one down here. And in measuring it, we can see this one is also 0.11 inches tall. Well, that means what we're seeing in this image is we're seeing a full block in the background. We're seeing a four layers worth of snow here, and then we're seeing two right here. And then from this angle here, we're seeing this dark area and then this dark area and then the dark area of the full sand in the background. But what does this all mean? Well, it means that once again, we don't see a consistent snow layers throughout this image. Although the majority of them are two layers thick, we have our four layer one over here and there's actually some more of them. So right here we have a two layer and then right beside it, we actually have a four layer. And then beside them are full size blocks. And also here we see a full size, a full size. And then this one is a double layer. And this is a four layer sand. And even over here, which is quite far away from the rest of it, we can see that there's something going on here. We got a layer and then potentially some more layers. Which also brings up another point that these snow layers are occurring a lot in one area. Kind of similar to our test here where we selected an area and we changed it out with snow and it came down with snow layers. But we're also kind of see a defined line about right here where on this side we're seeing layers but over here we're not seeing layers except when you look way back here. These don't appear to be full size blocks. So once again, we're not seeing exactly what he said we should be seeing. As we would expect to see a more scattered out area of just single snow layers with some double and rarely some triple or even quadruple layers. But it could be that he also modified the game like I said earlier and just made it so that every time a single layer would be placed down by falling snow, we'd end up with two layers. And that would make sense where you see two layers and then the next layer that would come down would make it four layers thick. But there's actually even more going on with this picture than we first initially thought. During my live stream, viewers point out that back here, these full size blocks actually look quite different than other full size blocks that are off in the distance. Notice how smooth and consistent the grain appears on these pieces of sand. But if we compare these to the sand pieces in the opposite corner, we can see this is a very gritty looking type of sand. So it's possible that these are actually the retextured snow layers when they're completely filled in as a full block. They have a different texture than the actual sand. Except if we look at these retextured snow layers, they actually look really smooth on the side as well as the top, similar to real sand. It could also be a completely new block that has a different texture. But I just went ahead and went in game and pulled up the different types of sand and the texture looked a little bit not as consistent as sandstone, but it did look very similar to suspicious sand. And if we take a look at this image and we notice that all these blocks in the background have this same type of gritty look. And if we kind of look at these blocks here, we can kind of see that there's like these little X symbols inside of each of these blocks and they actually go across all of them X, 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 X. So if we think it's suspicious sand, we should see that same type of thing. So if I just come over here and place some in quite far away, we can kind of mimic what it looks like in the image. And then if I go away from it, if you kind of look at the top right hand corner, we can kind of start seeing that there is some X looking images within the suspicious sand. 
Now she took a screenshot. This is a screenshot that I took of. And here you can see the exact same type of X's inside of these suspicious sand blocks, which means in the background of this image, we actually have a whole bunch of suspicious sand all piled up along here. It goes all the way across and ends right around here. And then back here, we just start to see more normal sand. So what in the world is going on here? Not only do we have these weird snow layers that aren't even consistent, but we're also having some suspicious sand, which seems to make up every chunk of the main terrain in the background. And you wouldn't normally find this much suspicious sand naturally in the game. So the suspicious sand also could be explained. Maybe they just came in here and selected a bunch of just normal sand. It fills in with suspicious sand replacing the normal sand. And what that actually does, it makes the natural terrain just turn into suspicious variation of it. And because we're seeing this over such a large area, it's possible that this is what happened. Now this block over here looks like suspicious sand which would mean if he used in a fill command, it'd be cubed area. That means anything along this same row here should also be suspicious sand. But it's a little bit hard to tell because this is the top of the blocks. But definitely when it comes over to here, this is all normal sand. So it misses out on here. But it looks like the ones in the back here might be suspicious sand. And it seems like it might have even go back pretty far. You might even say that this block way over here is some of it. But the images is getting pretty grainy as it did get compressed when uploaded onto Twitter. So if we go back and look at the post he made, trying to give more context to the image, the first thing that I notice is that he doesn't directly say that this isn't coming to the game. If you want to avoid confusion, you would just say this isn't coming to the game and it's for testing purposes only. Instead he says it's testing light effects on retexture snow layers. We have retexture snow layers here and there's like really no light issues. It's actually the exact same texture that they use for the sand. And when we retextured the sand layers, it uses the same textures as snow. So this is actually a snow block and it works amazingly. You go inside of it and it just looks like a normal block. They also said that they did this with high random tick speed. So if we make it rain or snow, we can see that the, actually the snow layers come in pretty fast. If we increase the random tick speed, it doesn't help us get the results shown in the images. That just speeds up the process and doesn't actually make the snow layers stack extra high or only double up. But instead what we end up with is a actually better looking area of sand layers, possibly even better looking than what's occurring in this image here. In the second post where he's clarifying it, he says, we often test at Mojang random ideas ourselves. So it's not like he's saying while working at Mojang, they're just testing random ideas, such as like what is sand textured snow layers look like? And maybe they thought they looked better if there was like suspicious sand rather than normal sand beside them. And then it goes on to say, these stay in our test worlds. So they're different testing that they did, which isn't always directly related to the upcoming version of Minecraft, are still in their worlds when they end up taking a screenshot of something else. And then they go on to say, definitely don't get attached to these. So rather than saying these aren't coming to the game, this might be a different way of saying it. It's definitely not a very direct way of saying it because maybe they are working on something related to renewable sand, but they're not sure if they're going to go with like the sand layer method in which case this sentence would make sense definitely don't get attached to these there's also some inconsistencies between the first message where they said they're testing a light effect on retextured snow layers and in the second one where they say that they were checking to see how sand layers would look in a desert the second one makes a lot more sense then again why would they be trying out the random idea of how snow layers look in a desert Unless there was some reason where they were trying out different ideas all related to maybe renewable sand. And then one of the ideas for renewable sand is snow layers that form in deserts and can be collected for a renewable sand source. Or it could be something else like totally something just different related to sand layers like sandstorms or maybe a new biome where sand layers occur. But the thing to keep in mind is why would you be testing out how sand layers look in a desert? If it's not related to any bug report or bug that's being fixed, or not even related to an upcoming version. To me, it seems like it's related to something, but we don't know exactly what, and I haven't found any bug reports that were made or recently fixed related to snow layers or retextured sand or different light effects. 
Now in my last video I talked about how the developers did say that they will eventually going to make a renewable way to get sand. That way we don't have to rely on sand duplicators. This was mentioned quite a few years ago and they said that they would not remove sand dupers until they actually came out with a renewable way to get sand as an alternative way to replace the sand duper glitch. A lot of people have become accustomed to over the years. A similar thing was said about piglin XP farms where piglins will drop XPs despite the player actually not hitting them with a the sword. They said that these would also be removed soon but only after they came out with an alternative source which they sort of have with the skulk catalyst being able to produce XPs inside of a block with the skulk blocks which you can then mine up for XPs. And I designed a whole farm around both the piglin as well as the skulks so that you could be ready for when these changes come out. Now a similar thing was also said about TNT dupers, that's why they haven't been fixed or removed from the game. So we for sure know that these things will be eventually removed from the game, we just don't know when. So hopefully that clears it up because I did see some misconceptions in the last video where people thought this was just speculation. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this, and while you're down below, check out all my other social media channels. And I'll see you all over at my Twitch livestream where we're preparing for the villager nerfs. Bye bye